What up, everyone? Today we're going to be checking out the Tony Hinchcliffe set from the Roast of Tom Brady. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's check it out. So I know a little bit about Tony Hinchcliffe from uh, his Kill Tony show. I've seen clips of that, and I've seen uh, him on Rogan. I know he's uh, good friends with him, but I, I don't think I've ever seen his uh, live stand-up anywhere before like a special uh or seen him in person so i'll be curious to see uh what he comes up with for this one so uh, let's get into it you know a lot of you might not know this oh, but off dana the is the millionaire founder of the ufc and he's also no, a he's degenerate not. gambler they bought so the ufc that's he did fucking not awesome it. dana they did turn it hey, into Tom, a billion dollar company this is though. great nice shoes bitch did you win those in the divorce <laughs> I like the approach up onto the set. I love it. This is a fucking stellar dais we have up here. Randy Moss, I was upset that Bill Belichick said he wouldn't give you a ring. You know what else doesn't have a ring? Bill Belichick's phone. <laughs> Everyone's up he here talking about what a big winner Tom is. But let me tell you, Tom is afraid of the Giants, which is why Kevin Hart is hosting tonight. <laughs> That's a pretty good it's one. It's true. All night. <laughs> He's been using the stool that Aaron Hernandez kicked out from under himself. Jesus. Yeah. It's true. Kevin is so small that when his ancestors picked cotton, they called it deadlifting. Oh, my God. <laughs> so many great quarterbacks up here. Definitely you know not afraid to go for it. Kevin Hart on any movie he's offered. That's true. He does do a lot of movies. But we are here for Tom. Tom Brady is a patriot, which is surprising considering he looks like a Confederate fag. <laughs> Tom Brady, why do you look like a gay Tom Brady? <laughs> Clearly your ex-wife takes after you. I hear she's out there draining balls right now. Oh, damn. <laughs> People love you, Tom. You have the same fan base as Kyle Rittenhouse. Jesus. <laughs> Gronk, I'm happy you could take a break from writing Santa letters to be here today. Oh my God. <laughs> that might be my second favorite one. They've both been at Gronk's expense. I knew you were here when we were all out of chocolate milk backstage. <laughs> He's like a big top. By the way, Gronk, that's Kevin Hart sitting next to you. That's not your shadow. Oh man, these guys are going at Gronk hard. Gronk, you look like the Nazi that kept burning himself on the ovens. <laughs> you look like the final boss in George Floyd the video game. Ah, <laughs> uh, the great Jeff Ross, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff is so Jewish, he only watches football for the coin toss. <laughs> and of course, throwing long bombs at brown people. <laughs> Nikki Glaser, what a performance tonight, am I right? Absolutely killer set. Nikki, who wrote that? Where was that your entire career? Ouch. Burn. Nikki has <laughs> such a bad eating disorder, the industry keeps shoving her down our throat. You might recognize her from her podcast appearances, specials, and winning the Triple Crown at Churchill Downs. Oh, you might recognize face. Kevin as the jockey that rode her. And that's Churchill Downs the racetrack, not to be confused with what Jeff Ross looks like when he smokes a cigar. <laughs> Sam J, everybody, killed. I don't think a lot of people are going to get that one, but that's a good one. African-American lesbian, so by having here, Netflix checked off a lot of boxes. Ugh. Yeah. She is a black lesbo, which means she doesn't eat pussy. She all oh, hell gnaws on it. <laughs> that's pretty good one, Earthquakes too. on his feet, I'm telling. <laughs> You might recognize Sam from this. Her entire Wikipedia <laughs> That's all I recognize could fit her into from. a fortune cookie. <laughs> Andrew Schultz, I'm glad you took a break from watching YouTube videos on how to dap up black dudes correctly. <laughs> Schultz's mom is a professional ballroom dancer, which means she's a stripper that talks too much. <laughs> That's a good Bert one, Bert Kreischer is a king. He looks like if the Tiger King and the Liver King only ate Burger King and had a liver that looked like Martin Luther King got beat up by Rodney King. <laughs> that somehow feels super accurate for describing him. <laughs> they like that one. 
<laughs> and how about the appearance from the great Ron Burgundy, huh? A whale's vagina, which reminds me, Kim Kardashian's here. <laughs> She's had a lot of black men celebrate in her end zone. <laughs> Kim, word of advice, close your legs. You have more public beef than Kendrick and Drake. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Netflix. <laughs> I heard they actually had to, like, edit out the booing for Kim Kardashian throughout, that it was so bad that they, you know, edited it out during the broadcast or during the rebroadcast. This was definitely a little bit edgier than probably most, but uh, he definitely had some uh, killer lines in there. That Gronk, you know, sending Santa Claus letters was great. I mean, I really love that. The last joke with the uh, all the different kings for Chrysler just felt appropriate, and the oh hell nah joke was uh, pretty uh, pretty on point as well. So far, two for two. I've uh, I enjoyed both of the both of the ones uh, I've checked out so far. Uh, I definitely have to go back and watch the whole thing. Was this your favorite clip or 